damn kids what happened to spring here in Oklahoma it's cold um I want to talk about uh one of my 30 favorite bands of all time Warrant uh Warrant is a great band um and they're continuing to kick ass today uh, I sort of also want to talk about uh, bands replacing their lead vocalists and how hard that is because uh you know, there are a lot of bands you just can't imagine going on without their lead vocalist. The lead vocalist is so intrinsic to the sound of the band. I mean, imagine Aerosmith without Steven Tyler. I can't do it. Um, Warrant was one of those bands. Warrant is one of my 30 favorite bands of all time. And Janie Lane, is a, he, he was a great vocalist, great performer, great songwriter. Couldn't imagine Warrant without Janie Lane. But they did it, and they continue to do it, and they kick ass, folks. They kick ass. Listen to me. Um, they made three great albums. They have made so far three great albums without Janie Lane on vocals. I hope they continue to do a, a whole lot more. I'll talk about those three albums in a minute. Now I don't have any references with me. So my timeline might not be exactly on. But um, we know about the great albums that you know Warrant made with Janie Lane on vocals. After the Dog Eat Dog album, two of the original members left. Joey Allen, one of the guitar players, and Stephen Sweet, the drummer, leaving Eric Turner on guitar, Jerry Dixon on bass, and Janie Lane on vocals. They made a couple of albums, uh, Ultraphobic and Belly to Belly. Belly to Belly was a little weird, took some getting used to, but there are some great songs on that album. Ultraphobic kicks ass, too. Um, they also made a, a, an album called Under the Influence, uh, cover songs, phenomenal record, uh, great songs they chose for the album, awesome. Then Janie Lane left the band. Uh, the two guys that had left, Stephen Sweet and Joey Allen, came back, making Warrant now the four uh, original members uh, and no Janie Lane. Uh, Joey Allen and Eric Turner on guitar, Jerry Dixon on bass, and Stephen Sweet on drums so you effectively now had Warren without Janie Lane so they got a vocalist Jamie St. James who sung for Black and Blue they made a badass album I mean it kicked ass Born Again a great Warren album minus Janie Lane you know they transcended their lead vocalist Warrant was still Warrant without Janie Lane. I couldn't have imagined it, but they were. Jamie St. James worked. But at some point, Janie Lane came back. Jamie St. James was out. The band reunited. I think they toured a little bit. Again, I don't know. My timeline may be off a little bit. No references. Um, and Janie Lane was out again. They didn't make an album, so that left the original four guys... Eric Turner and Joey Allen on guitar, Jerry Dixon on bass, and Stephen Sweet on drums. They needed another vocalist. They got Robert Mason. Now, Robert Mason kicks ass. Great vocalist. He is currently the vocalist for Warrant. They've made two phenomenal records with Robert Mason. The four original Warrant guys plus Robert Mason equals the new Warrant. They kick ass, they're badass. Two awesome albums, Rockaholic and Louder, Harder, Faster. Proving once again that a band can transcend its lead singer. Warrant did it. Um, Warrant is still kicking ass. I hope they make a lot more albums. But I know a lot of you, you know, you're going to disagree with me. There is no warrant without Janie Lane. First of all, Janie Lane, of course, passed away, so he'll never be in a band again anyway. Um, but Robert Mason fits so snugly into that band. The lineup is tight. The original members, plus Robert Mason, great. Uh, like I said, the three albums they've made without Janie Lane, phenomenal. But, you know, I think with Robert Mason, they've got a good solid lineup. It is Warrant. Um, still kicking ass. Still one of my favorite bands. Uh, you can disagree with me, agree with me. Leave some comments below. Let me know what you think.
Am I off my rocker? Did I hit the nail on the head? Check it out. You know? Um, hit that bell. Get some notifications from me. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Share it. Leave me some comments. I hope everybody's taking care of themselves out there. These are some crazy times we're in right now. But I wanted to talk about Warren and, and, and let you know they're still out there. They're still kicking ass. Uh, as great as Janie Lane was, um, they've transcended him and, 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 and they are uh, still Warren and still kicking ass. And uh, that's it. Take care of yourself. See you next time.